Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chivin Tamang, and in this video, we're gonna be reacting to uh, Bini Bini Filipinas 2021. I know you guys have been asking me to cover this particular part uh, uh, very much, so yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna be, uh, you know, uh, I will watch the National Costume Fashion Show, uh, and uh, I'm gonna be like, how should I say it? Like. Uh, I'll watch the fashion show that I was uploaded just yesterday and they've just told us in the comment section that there is top 10 best according to the votes. According to public votes, the top 10 has been chosen. So after that, I'll be watching the top 10. So that is how it's gonna work. You guys have been wanting me to cover Binibining Filipinas 2021 ever since it started. Uh, like, uh, I guess uh, two weeks ago. No, one week ago. And uh, the time when it started, I was kind of sick, so I could not really cover it, but here I am. We're going to be covering Binibining Filipinas 2021 from now on and we're going to be going till the end, okay? So, um, the uh, fashion show, I'm just going to ch chop out, uh, like put the main main parts except for that uh, and uh, the top 10, I'm going to show you guys the whole video. So, let's just get into this video real quick but before that, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's hit 26,000 subscribers and please hit the bell icon as well. If you guys have any recommendations, you guys can always let me in the comment section. And do not forget to follow me on my social, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. Link is in the description below. You guys can go and follow me over there. And yeah, I'm having a little difficulty uh, speaking. Like my words would not sound clear because of the web blisters that I have. Uh, so please do not mind that. So without any delay, let's just get into this reaction. What? First runner up? The rest looks amazing. Designer Clement Bartolava. Wow. With golden wings and fiery king. This national costume symbolizes our country's liberation from Spanish colonizers. Oh my gosh. The shining crown is a tribute to her aunt. The first Bini Bini Filipinas winner, this Pandil, costume is from Cavite. Wow. Bini Bini won. Samantha Blew my mind Sandra away. What is this? Is she a bird? Or butterfly. Why is she moving like that? It's, I guess that is trying to signify something according to a dress, maybe. In Northern Resort, this captive dress is meticulously weaved in Baguio City and showcases the rich craft by the image of the child she looks like a princess this national costume symbolizes a deep faith of filipinos its color tells us the stories of the heroes of Tundo who shed blood and wow the spaniards in the battle of Pankusai. from manila Binibini free patricia mariah garcia wow this hair note is inspired by Pampasa's traditional parol an ornamental star-shaped Christmas lantern. The details of this national costume show the rich visual art of the Mangyan tribe called Makulus. The deep, worn off evil spirits is trained as the medicine Uh oh, don't fall down. <laughs> source of food and livelihood from Occidental Nidoro, leading by the princess Chi and Guangdong. resemble those of a dragonfly, symbolizing new beginnings. The gown is embellished with French lace, brass, pearl. This outfit looks like a bird. Of the Bahias and New Yugan festivals of Quezon province. The skirt is embellished with handcrafted coconut shells and of a Baharlinga warrior named Manda and her romance with New York. Her weapons consist of traditional palo palo and pacha. Her weapons consist of the traditional palo palo and pacha, symbolizing the cities, the Bajanos, wow. traded by the Lacanades with other Asian kingdoms during the 14th century. Binibini 10 from Batangas, Marine and the King. The 
all of these costumes are so grand. Like it's so, it'd be so hard to choose the top 10, right? There's Hen in her, this. And there's this Filipino uh, flag colors here. Oh, this kind of seems simple to me compared to others. This gown is costume is called Ani Nang Laguna, a traditional dress made of bani and adorned with wooden beads in different shapes and sizes. Oh, damn. Its fluorescent colors are a tribute to a local festival in Laguna as Thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest. Right. The Vinda, a traditional sailboat of the Moro and Sama Bajau tribes. It is a symbol of trade and migration and showcases the rich history and oh. colorful Oh, oh bro <laughs> that was nicely done I like when there's a show going on portrays a deity from the form of a gigantic shining bird this costume is adorned with fiery red feathers that symbolize the elopus wisdom and strength Bamboo frame or Kinayas the Hawaiian is adorned with flowers and crystals. Well, what that kind of looks tacky in that, doesn't it? Like, I know it looks beautiful, but the way she walks in it just it doesn't seem graceful enough. It's just my opinion, okay? She's having difficulty walking because of that, because she can't see down. A wedding reception. It looks beautiful, though. And recycled 3D flower art. It has Singaban or a bamboo arch decorated with vibrant flowers. From Masbati, Binibini 17, Hannah Arnold. She looks so much like Miss World 2017 Monacy Chiller. This outfit pays homage to the rice granary of the Philippines, Hueva Ecija. It is adorned with beads that resemble alai or rice grains. The train represents the vast rice fields of the province. It's Duporongan Eastern Samar. Also oh, known as it's moving. Golden Sunrise. It is adorned yeah. with bani. Oh, there's light also province. going on. Okay, if the light goes out, we do not have a problem with her in the room. Gabriel Camille Bashano. The town of Rojas in Isabela was the first municipality in the country named after former president. I guess we do not just look at the dress only, right? We look at the message behind it also while choosing the winner. Oh, I forgot that it's all in public vote. So if you impress public, then you're sold. So I'm also one of the public, right? Lovely metacast fishing nets. Big. Huge. Enormous. That make this coastal province. The surfing capital of the north. Bini Bini 21 from La Union. Karina Carino. Thank you. Oplong Paras. This ensemble is mostly made of dasi or bani. Wow, and is look at the work. Handcrafted by the Aitas in the Moklon, Florida Blanca, Pampanga. It pays off. Her head, her head does look like that Disney. Uh, 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 which, <laughs> isn't it? I don't. I forgot the name, but it, the head looks the kind of like that. Bini Bini Twenty Two from Pampanga, Serena Yao. The Legend of Mount Mayon. This outfit is accentuated with flames that represent the scorching passion between star-crossed lovers Magayon and Fanganoron. Bini Bini 23 from Albay. She has a cross on her hand. That's more religious. Or Light of Peace. This national costume oh. represents the traditional Christmas symbol in Angeles City. The distinct Parul Angeles or Angeles Lantern. Known to bring hope and prosperity. Oh, uh, it looks From cool. 
Mini Mini 24. Marie in my top 10, I get in my top 10. The Giants of Angolos Gigantes Festival. It is made from the native piña fabric and highlights the rich culture of the province of Rizal. Bini Bini 25 from Rizal. Honey Grace Cartasano. Oh, damn. That's kind of scary. Yeah. This ensemble mirrors Pampanga's moniker as the country's the Christ. Bini Bini 27 from Oriental Mindoro is a reflection of Romblon Cerulean waters. The headpiece is an oyster shell that conceals a lustrous gem which represents Oh, that is an oyster. Of the tells a story of a beheaded clan leader which is believed oh, to be the Oh, damn. <laughs> City. A lot of people have done flowers, right? Flowers attached to an arch made of bamboo to gracefully give honor to the Virgin Mary. Bini Bini 30 from Sibu, Virgin Mary. Pays tribute to Mother Mary as a savior of Patangas during oh. the recent oh. volcano oh. eruption. The red color of Makindanawan were incorporated in this Waling Waling Couture gown. Bini Bini 32 from Tagum City. Oh, she opening? Leslie and Ticaro. What's she doing? Oh, oh, okay, cool. Okay, let's head over to our. For me, uh, as of now, as much as I can see, you know, there were 34 dresses, so it's like hard to remember each and every one of them. But for me, that really striked out was the colonization Spain dress, you know, although that was the one in the front. And another one was the lady who was uh, carrying a cross, and when the light went out, she was glowing. That two were my favorite. So let's see if they made it in the top 10 or not. I'm not saying my opinion has, uh, you know, just because I like them, they have to be in top 10. It's just, you know, it, they were my favorite. So they were chosen by the Filipino themselves by voting. And the voting is still open. One of these 10 girls would be crowned as the best uh, national costume. Okay, that seems cool. Yes, I was talking about her. She was my favorite. Yeah, I talked about her as well. Her Filipino flag reference. Oh, I didn't note. I didn't notice a dress much. I thought it was a way as simple. Oh, the garden! I talk. I, I told that she was the wedding reception, and she looked like Miss World 2017. Did I not see her? Why do you feel like this is the first time I'm seeing her? Wow, her leaves look amazing. Yeah, this dress was grand. Wow. The music is like, you know, like we're going on some kind of war. Oh, yes, I talked about her. 
I talked about her. Yes, this is one of my favorite. Especially when when the light goes out and she glows, that is just like so beautifully done. Like look at it. Ooh. Oh, this was creepy for me the way her head was up. But I guess yeah, deserved. All of the dresses were so good. So it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, don't show me that face. It was kind of a creepy for me. Resolve. Yeah, she put on a show. My favorite is I forgot her name though. Like, whoosh, wait, not her. Uh, her name was what? Okay, for me, as of now, Francesa is my favorite. She's contestant number twenty-four. Yeah, she's my favorite. Uh, what's your favorite? What was your favorite national costume? Just let me know in the comment section. For me, that was my favorite and with Cavite on second. But all in all, every other dresses were so amazing and so much thoughts were put over it. So congratulations to all the ladies. Uh, for now, yeah, that was it, guys. That was our reaction. If you like this reaction, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, what are your picks? Just let me know in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.